Republican Congressman Adam Kinzinger moments ago saying this, I quote him, it's with a heavy heart I'm calling for the sake of our democracy that the 25th Amendment be invoked. And he joins me now on the phone. Congressman, literally, as we're coming out of this commercial break, I am watching your, your video in full. Um, you say with heavy heart. Tell us how you came to this decision that you are ready to make this move. Yeah, look, this isn't easy, obviously. Um, but, you know, as I woke up this morning, you know, I, I went to bed pondering this question at 3 a.m. And, you know, woke up this morning and and saw that even some members of Congress are continuing to try to push now conspiracy na uh, narratives that, in fact, it wasn't Trump supporters that stormed the Capitol. And, and you just came to realize, you know, the 25th Amendment has been voluntarily invoked in the past uh, as presidents have gone under anesthesia. And it was created to ensure that the government uh, could continue to function. And for the next two weeks, we, in essence, have a president that seems unmoored from reality. Uh, we're getting indications of staff leaving in droves. And, uh, and I think just for the sake and the survival of this moment, uh, it's far bigger than politics. And the 25th Amendment, putting uh, Vice President Pence in charge until the president uh, can lead again, which obviously in a short amount of time probably will not happen, uh, is the right thing to do for our democracy. So you have not been afraid to say what you think, to stand up to people. You know, you talk about these baseless conspiracy theories. You've called it out from the beginning, Congressman. Um, but, but this isn't easy to do, to be sort of the first one out of the gate. Have you talked to any of your Republican colleagues? What are they saying to you? Uh, yeah, I mean, I've, I've, I've talked. Uh, I, I don't know if I'll end up standing alone or if others will join me. That, that obviously doesn't come into my, you know, my cross check on that. But I, I certainly hope that others at least hear what I'm saying and, and put aside what, the political moment and realize you know, that history will never judge how we did in the politics, but it will judge how we did in, in, in managing the people's business. And yesterday, uh, when the president seemed to stir people up uh, at a rally, when he tweeted after the occupation of the Capitol, things that were uh, obviously meant not uh, to fully stop this from happening, uh, it became quite obvious that he's not, uh, he cannot be in the position uh, to protect the American people, Republicans, Democrats, everybody in between and outside on the extreme. That is his job. That is our job. And, you know, when he put out that statement, well, uh, Dan Scavino put it out on his behalf, right, because he's banned from Twitter, um, you know, still still standing by that the election was stolen, um, but but that he would support an orderly transition of power. Um, obviously, that's way too little too late. Um, doesn't add up to you. Do you see any others, though, trying to use that as an excuse to stand by here? Yeah, look, I, I see, you know, like I said, I've, I've seen, you know, one particular member of Congress, I don't like to get in the business of calling out, so I won't, but who has a pretty viral tweet with quote-unquote evidence that this was actually Antifa, and, you know, it's it's the same kind of stuff that we've been dealing with when it comes to even, you know, the quote-unquote evidence, the stolen election. Uh, all of it gets debunked, but the accusation is what catches fire, and there's so much information that, that people don't know what to believe. The bottom line is this. Everybody... I think would feel safer if uh, if Mike Pence was at the helm for the next two weeks. Uh, it's not a political decision, maybe a really bad political decision for me, but that doesn't come into account at all because I've I've sworn on an oath twice, both as a military officer and as a member of Congress, and I take that seriously. Congressman Kinzinger, I appreciate your time. Thank you very Thank much. You. you bet.